travel around the world We travel meant and seeing places Meeting people, exploring all the world Having a good time with Travel Man Dan Make sure you see every bit of it Hey everybody, how's it going? Travel Man Dan here and get ready for a fun and exciting episode today. We're going to go ahead and bring out the super magical globe today. This almighty powerful transporter is going to take us to a fun and exciting place in Boulder City, Nevada. So sit back, relax, and get ready for the show as I show you Tom Devlin's Monster Museum. I'm out here in front of Tom Devlin's Monster Museum in Boulder City, Nevada. Let's go inside and take a look at all this amazing monster stuff. Let's go check it out. Tom Devlin is one of the most world-renowned makeup artists, special effects, monster makers, creature people for the movies and for all other various things involved with monsters and creatures. Come see it too, man. All right, they got a Zoltar machine. Remember, Zoltar is what changed Tom Hanks in the movie Big. Wow. Oh, man. I'm in absolute heaven right away. When you walk in, you're in a gift shop, merchandise, memorabilia, mecca for monsters and movies that have horror and entertainment. Just dripping with all kinds of amazing stuff in here. Let's take a closer look. I definitely want to point this out. If you've seen the movie Gremlins 2, this is the spider gremlin. Check them out. <laughs> this is really cool. This little like haunted house kind of front walkway facade here. Let's take a closer look. As we can see, Elvira is in the window. That's pretty neat. <laughs> and uh, you guys all know it. But I really like this merchandise store because as you walk in, you can get posters. Over here, you can see, uh, you can get t-shirts and you can have all this memorabilia from horror movies from, well, we got Chucky and we got Planet of the Apes. You got all kinds of great stuff. Yeah, and if you want, you can go ahead and get some great t-shirts. Right here, we have the Puppet Master, great 80s horror classic. Uh, we even got Tom Devlin Monster Museum shirts. So that's really neat. Okay. Brand face Michael Myers, Michael Carbonaro, Felissa Rose. Where where is Tom? There's you, right? There's you uh, up the top. That's there. Tom up there. There's Tom. There's Tom. Tom's in all these ones right here. That's cool. There's Tom up there. And does he still create for the movies and stuff? Absolutely. Yeah, awesome. All right, so now it's time to get into the actual museum. You saw the gift shop, you saw the entranceway. Um, it is $15 for adults, $7 for children. Now let's go in and see the magic inside this museum. Whoa, sweet. Right away you walk in and check it out. Nosferatu, yes. still feel like this is one of the most underrated monsters. I mean, just look at this guy. How creepy and scally. And he just comes out of this water and just will, will haunt you and bring you down underneath the water. Probably the first time I was ever scared. Right here. This little girl, Poltergeist.
This is really cool. All along the museum walkway, they have these giant plaques commemorating the famous monster actors like Bela Lugosi, Boris Karloff, Jack Pierce, and then over here is my absolute favorite. We got my guy Vincent Price, one of the greatest monster movie horror people out there. You may recognize him from the voice on the thriller, but uh, he actually has a giant body of work. And each and every October, I go ahead and celebrate each night building up the Halloween by watching a Vincent Price movie. All right, check this out. This is a movie that Tom actually worked on called Poultry Geist. <laughs> and you can take a look at the costumes, the masks. But I like this. Um, it says uh, three rules of production and safety to humans, safety to people's property, and three, make a good movie. One of the things I really like about this museum and that you really have to kind of look at and pay attention to to get into the detail is you'll see all kinds of little pictures, uh, whether they're stills or whether they're promotional pictures, but they have autographed signed to Tom Devlin from either the actor, the director, another monster artist, and they're a special tribute to Tom himself. And well, they look really good just all throughout this museum. So be sure to go ahead stop along the way while you're enjoying all these monsters and feasting your eyes on the great creatures be sure to go ahead and take a look at some of these autographed photographs and uh yeah let's go see what else is going on Look at this fella right here. It's like, remember in Beetlejuice when they're in the waiting room and they sprinkle the shrink head dust on it? I mean, come on. Killer clowns from outer space. This movie's incredible. Absolutely love it. Standing next to these guys, Oh, just pow, get pow, 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 pow. Check this out, this is the Toxic Avenger. And the Toxic Avenger is really cool. Cause he's kind of like a superhero monster of like a, a cross between Goonies, the Sloth, and a mix of Captain America. Check it out, this is great. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, this is so awesome. I like this little section right here because it, uh, well, I feel a strong sense of striker and slasher films, right? We have over here, we have the ultimate slasher with his giant blade, Michael Myers from the Halloween series. Over here, we have the leprechaun, pretty scary leprechaun. Um, over here, obviously, we all remember this from Evil Dead 2. This is Ash wielding that hand chainsaw, zoom, 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 cutting up everybody. And then if we swing back around over here, the famous Leatherface, the scare, the terror that he brought. Ooh, check out this little display, okay? We have Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake. And I love what they did over here where they made it look like you were going to camp and then tied up here, mangled, tortured, ripped, and uh, well, it's none other than Jason. And that's pretty sick right there, I like that. You know, shortly right after the Gremlins, we had a run on little creepy, scary monsters. We had the Ghoulies, we had Critters right here. And I love these movies. I remember going to the Blockbuster and picking out the horror movies. And uh, this is from Critters 2. That's pretty cool. Over here, this is not my buddy. This is the evolution of Chucky. Okay, take a look. Right here we have the first Chucky. 
second hand, well, the cut up, slashed up. Oh yeah, all right, pretty cool. We have over here, the hills have eyes and this might have been one of the most frightening faces. I mean, look at this. <laughs> this is the one creepy face right there. The guy himself is just scary and take away all that happens in the movie. If you just saw that guy in the convenience store, you probably would be a little bit scared. And well, he's not really inviting you. Another guy, if you're scared of, and then you try to go to sleep that you might see right over here. Okay, Freddy, people's favorite, right here, Nightmare on Elm Street series. Another little plaque and an ode to Wes Craven. Over here we have the Scream mask. That's pretty awesome. You guys uh, remember the Scream franchise? And I remember when that first came out, I wanna say it was in the 90s, early 90s, how frightened and scared people were of this. Oh, Beetlejuice! Yeah, this is great. I love Beetlejuice. Um, just an amazing Tim Burton movie. If you haven't seen it, be sure to check it out. Uh, some of you younger people may not have seen it. People, of course, my age, you know that it's a classic. And it brought a different element, I feel, to horror movies and to the genre. Over here, we have Return of the Living Dead. Oh, <laughs> he looks cooked, right? And then behind me is this creepy SOB, Bill Pennywise. <laughs> And over here, we have an Ode to Creep Show. All right, so this is the end of the actual museum that you walk through. It was an amazing time. We saw some great stuff. Uh, thank you for visiting Tom Devlin's Monster Museum. Leave us a review on TripAdvisor, Google, and Yelp. I'll create this video. One of the things I gotta say is, uh, you know, sometimes when I go out to museums like this, little obscure places, people uh, in public, it can be a little hard to get in. The people here, the guy at the front, his name is Jeff. He was incredible, super nice guy. Allowed us to come in here, film this, make this neat video for you to explore and see this monster museum. Be inspired to come out here to Boulder City yourself. And I'll be sure to go ahead and leave an awesome stellar review. <laughs> Check this out, all right? Uh, this is pretty creepy. These are old school like church pews, I believe. And then uh, we have a bunch of really neat uh, paintings on the wall. One thing I really like about this gift shop merchandise store is, well, you walk in, you see it, then you can walk through the museum. And if you got your mind obsessed on something that you wanted to purchase, when you come out, you can still come out and still buy it. And it's always good to go ahead and support local places like this. Places that are, well, bring Tom Devlin and his creativity to life here at this museum and allow us to go ahead, not only to see it on YouTube, but to explore and check it out in person. As you can see, he's got all kinds of masks over here that you can buy. And I'm not talking about COVID masks. I'm talking about bitching ass crazy Freddy looking masks. I'm talking about this weird looking green thing. <laughs> that, that guy's really haunting. I like this one a lot actually. This is, is this from a movie? This is from Halloween 3, yes. I, I kind of remember this one. Some of these ones I haven't seen in a very long time. But uh, the nostalgia in this place is incredible. I grew up on monster movies, horror movies, and uh, it's what eventually drove me to Hollywood to become an actor myself. Over here, the wall is covered with nice words to Tom, uh, pictures, plaques, movie stills. Uh, one of my favorite monsters, okay, who guards Jabba's palace. This is great right here, I love that. One thing you definitely want to look before you go ahead and plan coming here is maybe you want to check out their website. I'll be sure to put it down in the description below, but check out when they might have some type of signing or special event. 
as you can see over here we had butch patrick okay the original eddie munster who was here right in this chair probably signing autographs and uh really kind of just a nice thing for people to come and see this monster museum and then maybe see one of their favorite actors that portrayed one of those monsters or crazy creatures garbage pal kids pins This is kind of cool, right? You think it's a coffin, maybe another entrance, a secret way into the Monster Museum again? Oh no, it's none of that. It is the bathroom, okay? And there we have the toilet. Now, this is the Monster Museum, so I'm gonna open up the toilet lid and let's see if the little creature from Ghoulies is under there. <laughs> ah, no, we're safe, okay? No Ghoulies in this toilet. Check this out. We have a nice little arcade. We have the House of Dead 2, Attack of the Claw, Mortal Kombat. Be sure to go check out my friend Max Huang, who is now playing Kung Lao in Mortal Kombat 2. But uh, this is pretty awesome. I wish I could play him right now, but uh, we're going to keep moving on. All right, check this out. I mean, this is really cool. This work right here is actually done by students who have taken classes here. And if we take a look over here, Tom Devlin actually teaches classes right through here on uh, monster making, you know, clay sculpturing, robotic, animatronic things, uh, anything involved with monsters and movie monster magic that you've seen over there, you could take it from Tom Devlin. This is his class and once again, the link will be down in the description if you're interested. You can get, definitely call over here and find out if, you're, if you want to take some classes or what it takes to start some classes. But check this out. I mean, this is really cool. Sub-Zero. All right. This is, <laughs> of course, we all remember this from Big Trouble in Little China. Well, that's going to pretty much do it for us today. If you're new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring the notifications bell, give me a like, drop me down a comment, let me know if you've ever been here, what you liked about this video, I'd love to hear from you. Well, we had an amazing time today, checking out all the fun and cool monsters. I hope you learned something new and interesting, like Tom Devlin's work in the movies and his school here at the museum. But most of all, I hope you were inspired to get your butt to Boulder City, Nevada and check this Tom Devlin's Monster Museum out for yourself. You're going to absolutely love it. Thanks again for watching. I'm Travel Man Dan. And remember, it's a big world out there. Make sure you see every bit of it.